Yes, guys, PTTP here in a town called Braintree in Essex. We're here at the police station there. Uh, just before I go over, quick intro, if you haven't seen my arrest already, then I'll put a card in the video here. I'll link it at the end of the video. Um, be sure to go check it out. Um, I was arrested for Section 40D of the Prisons Act of 1952. But yeah, with that we'll carry on with this. So, let's start with the signs. Braintree Police Station, no public access, main entrance is via Bice Meadow. Uh, CCTV sign, not to be used by the pedestrians. Vehicle gate, pedestrians must use designated access gate only and a keep clear, very dangerous gate. Uh, so, oh, that's a big CCTV sign. Uh, I've never seen one that big before and uh, CCTV signs are usually yellow in general. I um, can't remember off the top of my head now what the police uh, station ones are usually like. Just check that this is locked securely. It is good. Uh, so there's not really much to see through that gate. But, yeah, this is uh, Braintree Police Station's back gate. So they've got a big old riot van with the um, guard that goes down over the windshield. And they've got quite a few marked vehicles here. See a couple over there marked uh, a car next to a marked van. And you've got two marked cars there as well. And then you've got the sort of pickup truck with the box on the back uh, just over there. So yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, it's quite a big station. It's all painted green rather than blue. But, you know, there's not a lot we can do about that. Um, I thought green was usually for like... Uh, first aid sort of stuff rather than the police thought police should be blue really like that sort of blue that they have on their signs but that's okay so yeah hopefully we'll get some vehicles coming or out but we'll have to wait and see so as you can see I'm stood uh, here so I can't say I'm blocking or obstructing any gates. Uh, a few of you noticed in my uh, video with the PCSO at Letchworth that I had Rage Against the Machine playing in the background. It wasn't intentional. That was purely just playing through my headphones and I forgot to turn them off. Um, but, but yeah, it was a, quite an ideal song for an audit. So we've got a vehicle coming up. Is it a police vehicle? That's a Gardens. But oh, there we go. We've got a police one coming up behind it. So what we'll do is uh, get ready get that coming in here it is Vehicle coming out, so I best move out of the way. So there are, I notice there aren't any signs that say about tailgating in, um, which obviously the police vehicle did, but 
usually they have something that says no tailgating, which is interesting. They, uh, they don't seem to have that here. So the car that just pulled out stopped and waited to make sure the gate closed before it pulls away, which is good. And the van is doing the same. Perfect. That's good to see. But yeah, I noticed the, um, it looked like the two works vans sort of tapped in. Um, didn't hear the intercom go so yeah it looked like they sort of tapped into the station and then um, just kind of went in so I wonder how come they've got special badges and don't need to go over the intercom or something seems interesting so I don't know if this one has front counter or not I haven't been around the front yet so I will uh, wander around there and have a look I think. Um, we'll see if we can find it. Maybe there's access around this way. Yeah, so we seem to have found the um, front entrance. So we'll have a look. We've got a bench for the public to sit on. Very nice grounds. And they've got a knife bin. And stop, think, drop that knife to save a life. Artwork by somebody called Bethany, age 13. That's very cool. I like that they uh, include the public and you know the local youth in in that it's very cool first by funded by the Ben Kinsella Trust so it's got the Offensive Weapons Act 2019 on the side so it tells you all the new stuff that's now illegal to even own it's not about having it in public there you go. So that's their opening hours. They've got PC 101. And again, they advertise on their notice board. Don't know if that's free advertising or if they have to pay for it. Yeah, so they've got a map of Braintree and a street index. Awesome. Uh, that one there as well. They do have a toilet here for the public. Can I help, sir? No, I'm okay, thank you. Pardon? Oh, it's, it's not the law. It's it's uh, it's policy. It, there's no law against it. 
Um, if, there, if, there, if there was a law, they would state on the sign what the act is, but because there's no, there, there is, it's no, there's no law against it, it's, um, this is a public area. They, do, they did drug me out of my own home without a warrant. Okay. Without a warrant? Right, yeah. They've just dragged you out of your own home without a warrant? Oh, sorry, I won't get you on camera, but that's disgusting. Have they told you what yeah. for? Do you mind? Oh, I'm happy to talk to you. Yeah? Oh, do, do you mind if I put you on camera? No, I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay, so, so guys, I've just bumped into this guy in the lobby, and he's just telling me that he's been dragged out of his home without a warrant. Without a warrant. Did... Without, not only the without warrant, without cause as well. Handcuff me without cause, and then take me out of my own home, and, and when on, on the way, to, on, the, on, the, on the car, mm -hmm. on the way to, stage, to the station, I asked for the, oh, uh, is this, this is San, this is San Diego. Are you sure that you, your uh, Judy Solista is there at the station? When, when I asked about it, he realized he's screw, and then he, and this, at that moment, he changed his mind and dropped me off, uh, a stone throw away from the police station, and then dropped me off on, 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 at the sidewalk, and then gave me 300 quid, God know where he got it from, and then dropped me off, and then and then and hang, and, and handcuffed me and tell me, I am going to de-arrest you, and at the side of the the pavement and de-arrest me, and then and walk out of the drive out of there, and then for all this for all it take for him to do all this thing, what did I just told you in the last two mm -hmm. minutes, all it take took for him to do all the things was when internet pages download it from internet and show him and then he did all of that. So I, I, I'm here right now waiting for them to show them the Northern Court and then the Mortimer Clark uh, solicitors and Northern Court, all of them proving that I own the, the bungalow that he drove, 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 dragged me out of the place. Yeah. I actually, so I thought, my, it, isn't it the, the reasonable that I, I, I am under the impression that, oh, if he is and therefore, all he, he was, an, all he did, all of them, he, he did, and therefore was, uh, one page was enough for him to do all of them. I, it should be enough for him to take me back to wherever he took me out of from. If I show him, if only I show him seven legal pages, not internet download, yeah. not, seven pages, that should be enough for him to take me back. That is my impression. So I can, yeah, show them the, all the documents. And what is it? They just told me, total silent, total shut up. I was actually, out of the police station for seven hours, shouting them out to come out and see, look at them for seven hours. Do you think if they are in the right, would you would you think would would, would they let, let let me do this for seven hours? Exactly, they, no, they've they've obviously done something the wrong. And then just like the door and yeah. hiding like a coward. So what? So when that person dragged you out of your house, they should have had a body camera on. The vehicle oh, yeah. should have a camera. Make they sure do. you request that footage. Oh, not only the body camera. I, I myself also have the recording. You have recording. I, Perfect. Recording the, all, uh, the audio Perfect. Recording. And then the reason he took me out of this, the reason he told me that, because I'm d d disturbing the peace. I have it on record for 20 minutes. Then eh? it was total silence. I am sitting on my own living room so, so, living room sofa. Yeah. And total silence. The only first, only voice that came out of this total silence, breaking the silence, was his voice. Telling me, I am the... Uh, he was at uh, the end of his tether. I don't know, since when the, the end of somebody's uh, police officer tether is a crime. Exactly. Uh, I was at the end of his tether. So he's gave me, I have the speech and hearing disability. There's a proof that the, court, the Employment Tribunal Court proved that the judge himself considered I have the speech disability. So she postponed when, when a judge doesn't understand what I'm trying to say. Well, he did. She did the proper thing by postponing, not making the judgment. Sure. But no, 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 not the police officer. Police officer above the judge. He, they know the, no, no. more if, than if, the if, judge. If you have a valid disability, they're not supposed to question you without representation. I mean, you should <laughs> due to legal representation, but if but all but the laws, throw they, they don't care. Away. When you deal about the problem, no. they, they want to enforce their feelings the and their ego rather than the law. The so he he is above the judge, above the solicitor. So. The once, uh, uh, once he, he all of the all of the thing he did was uh, 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 take me out of things. But one page of internet, I showed them just now. I showed them seven pages. All he did was give me that. That oh, by the way, oh, the professional was, standards. Why he was doing all of the thing? He uh, smashed he your my, 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 my thing mm. as well. That, that suitcase was prepared by the my my ex partner, and then he 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 hung up me and then uh, carried for me. For me, I didn't touch them. He carried this for me, and the the the, the, the his another colleague's police officer showed the, the, the I was sitting there, and she was like, 
right up. Came out right up. Right up. So that is the way I was treated in my own home without a word, yeah. without cause, taking me out. Of, and and the, let's go back to the, the, the reason he, he handcuffed me. He said, because I was breaking the disturbance of peace. So disturbance of peace, the, for 20, 20 minutes straight, it was total silent. Until he was doing it in total silent 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, he, was, he went to my room and on the floor, they are legally privileged. Uh, told attorney clients privileged my documents. Uh -huh. He was reading them for 20 minutes without warrant into my own room, in my, reading my, my legally privileged li 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 documents. And after that, he decided that I am I am the one. After his reading, I, he decided I am the one pe uh, 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 breaking the uh, breaking the the peace. So he gave me five seconds to cooperate. I wow. have six disability, even if I am not. I don't have speech energy. Five seconds, not enough for, for me to prove that I my, my, I'm entitled to be in this house. No, five seconds, not enough. No. In five seconds, he, 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 all of these documents are four, nearly 400 documents. He missed them all up together and then asked me to prove my, my, my entitlement in five seconds. I was looking through these 400 pages of documents, the, these seven documents I was looking for. In five seconds, he handcuffed me and that took me away. Wow. They, they don't care, man. They're, they're, they're awful. That goes to believe what he, they just did. And I still can't get my way around, my head around. How can they do that, what they did? And they're acting me like this, but, but they have done nothing wrong. Yeah. They, they handcuffed me as well. I went to hand myself into a police station because I knew they were, oh, were looking for me. Yeah, so I, came to ha I came, turned up to hand myself in. So obviously I'm not resisting. I'm there to, to say, hello, I'm here. You know, let's get whatever needs to be done. Let's do it. But they still put handcuffs on me to walk me from basically from out there to here. They put handcuffs on me, and it left marks on my wrist. And I told, I, I made them take pictures. The same thing. Yeah, the same thing. I made the, the police officer. I made him take pictures of the of my wrist, so you know I can take action for excessive force. There was no need for it. I've handed myself in peacefully, and there's, there's no need. They because, don't care. Because, they abuse their powers. Oh, it's more than that. It's more, more than that. They abuse their power. Is that at least they know that the, the limits of their power. Mm -hmm. They have absolutely no regard whatsoever about the law. Yeah, they absolutely. don't. No. Now I'm here because he told me that if I go back to there, he will arrest me for harassment. So I'm here to talk to, 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 talk to them. Here, here, look at the baby. So this, this is where I will. So I'm going to go back there. I, I, I'm waiting for them, for them, for, for them to promise me that they are not going to arrest me or harass me if I go back to my home. That is why I'm sitting wow. here right now, and they are not giving me the promise. That's that's insane. That's crazy. I have slept on the street. This has happened in first of March, in Sunday. So Sunday, many Tuesday, today is Thursday already. Four days already, four nights already. I I I slept. This is not whether there are another two more uh, police arrests. Uh -huh. and another two more. Wow. So I already slept in the police station twice and released me without any charge. And they, 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 they are going to do this again. Did they release you on bail or? No, 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 not on bail. They just released you, released you with no further action? No further action. For twice already and they are prepared to do it a third time if I go back, go back home. Go back there, and if he calls yeah. for us, then they're going to do it. So I'm waiting for them to promise me that not to do it, yeah. and they're not giving me the. There, there are a lot of solicitors that will do no win, no fee, and they do specialise in action against the police. There's a law firm called DPP, and there's a law firm called HNK. So, and they they specialise in doing no I, win, no I, fee. I really want to get the. the, the I, I'm sure about this. I, I already have the the pay for fee uh, code for the for the dis uh, the discrimination by. The council and the police. Yeah. I already had this on Sunday night, so I already have the. I Good. only I only need to, to a solicitor, and I cannot get to any solicitor at the moment because of the solicitor boy comes uh, against the justice uh, uh, department, uh, the, the legal aid department. Uh, the boy comes. That's why yeah. I cannot get to any solicitor. If you can, do you know where to uh, just point me where? I, I'm not local. I don't know any local solicitors. But when they arrested you, did you get a solicitor then? Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Station police. Uh, Station solicitor at right there, yeah. and I I charge them, I charge them for discrimination, and the, that solicitor also just disregarded like like, like he duty solicitors that. are terrible for that. But when you're when you're arrested, um, the the best thing to do that I found is don't use the duty solicitor because they are usually pretty crap. 
but you can ring any law firm you want and say, like, say you know of a law firm locally, and you can say, contact this law firm, and they'll send a solicitor down to you. But, uh, and that's still free. I don't have my phone anymore. Yeah, but they can, you can tell them. Say, like, just find a name of a local solicitor that specialise in criminal defence. And then when you get, if you ever get arrested, say, contact this solicitors and tell them, you know, betting that it's called a solicitor and say, you know, I might be arrested, so just a, as a heads up, if I get arrested, you might get a call. Tell them your name, your details, fine. When you get arrested, say, call this firm, tell them, call this firm, I want that solicitor, not the duty. Still free, because you're entitled to free legal advice when you get arrested. Um, anything after that is money, but mm. you're entitled to free advice when you get arrested. And then, yeah, you use those. Don't, the duty solicitors are usually inexperienced, crap, and, you know, like the, the, the discrimination, they'll brush it under the carpet. But getting handcuffed for no reason, they won't care. When I got arrested and got handcuffed, they... Um, but I told my solicitor, and he wasn't happy. Like he said that we'll, we'll, we'll take action against that, you know. But that, that's, that's for next time. But it's hard because solicitors, you know, they cost money. Legal aid is a long process to get through. Mm-hmm. And, um, it, is, it, it, it is unbelievable, unbelievable, seriously yeah. unbelievable. Well, I wish... I, I was always... I, I, ever since the, the, uh, the first moment I stepped foot on this, in this country... The, the, the words I usually you hear is, uh, oh, the illegal immigrants, mm. illegal, you have to be legal. It, it gave me the impression this country is really, really in their own bones, in their bones, in their marrow bones, that respect the law. This is the impression you, you give. You, yeah. you, because they, they, they have so much care about illegal, uh, illegal, legally okay, here or legally. So this is so much about le- legal system. Yeah. So it's I thought, but apparently, no. nobody... Care no. About the law. no, they they care when we're breaking the law, but when we're not breaking the law, but they still want to get us for something. That's when they stop caring. That's okay. That's when they stop caring. But as soon as we're doing something that the slightest bit illegal, but the amount of times I see a police officer doing something illegal, so I point it out to another police officer and say, "Oh, by the way, that police officer is doing something illegal," and then they don't care. Then then they've got a whole other answer. This is, a, this is the, the uh, criminal damage. Yeah. But, but for this, for the criminal damage, I only have this citation. Yeah. For the, my criminal damage, because I second time I go back home, but uh, he, he locked uh, the lock, my own lock, by the way. Yeah. My own lock to the bungalow I own, or the, the, with, with, the, with the clock I own. I broke it because of that 20 foot lock. I got arrested, taken away. <laughs> For the criminal damage for 20 feet, but for that, oh, but yeah, that, that, yeah you just get a log number and that's it. Yeah. It's a crazy, isn't it? It, it, it is. Breathtaking. I was say breathtaking. Was I, I yeah. Using it. Uh, I wish you the best of luck with it, and uh, <laughs> Thank you. hopefully, uh, just st- stay firm and I will, I try, will, try and try and get hold of a solicitor. Will, it's hard, I, but I will, I will, I will make a pay for whatever everyone who, who make this involved in this situation. Like, because you know why they 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 do that? Because no one fought any, no one fought back. Before. No, Before exactly. Me. Yeah, Pe- not not many fight back. I'm no, fighting yeah. back. When when they arrested me, it's bullshit. What they arrested yeah, me for? No, so no, I'm fighting back. So if only somebody tell me the fact that they, now they will know that they are not supposed to get involved in civil dispute. This yeah. is a partner between two partners. Civil dispute. This is not the one that they they, they should no. be in, get in, uh, involved in. So, no, no, no. They not only get involved. Not only that. They so actively, so help with. Not only just. Uh, 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 a little touch, no, 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 no. Get involved. They were carrying my suitcase yeah. and the handcuff me and the right, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Just like that, treated me like that. All yeah. The way, all the way down. Yeah, they do. Uh, I'm sorry. No, no that's okay. Is, it's, 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 it's very frustrating. Yeah, yeah, it's frustrating. There's, there's some people have to. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I hear that somebody is fighting me back. Fighting back, fighting back. I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm. A little bit now that I'm not alone. No, I'm just, it, it's, it's, alone. it's a hard process and it's a long it's process, a hard, totally but, it ha- but it has to be done. It's so breaking. Yeah, it's so breaking. it is. It's mentally draining. It's emotionally draining and it's tiring, but we have to show I them mean, that yeah, we, we have to show them that they can't just do what they want. The, the, the one thing good is that the, at least the, 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 the justice system, the judges are at least still fair. Yeah. That, is, that is one thing. That, uh, to an extent, they still uh, they still side with the police but, uh, more than us. As a lower, case, lower yeah. level, but, but you know, peer peer judge uh, that that yeah. little getting higher and higher, they they became much more uh, uh, more 
oh, impartial. Yeah. Impartial became impartial. They see things because my my system here was enabled by the by the judiciary system. Mm -hmm. So I I, I I rely so much on the judiciary. System. So I thought that if only I can bring them all to in front of the judi judiciary, then they will they will all be held accountable for their actions. That's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, I've I've got a few cases, you know, and uh, oh, I have a, I have a, a private tribunal case. Yeah. thirty-eight charges. Wow, thirty-eight charges. No, no, I just uh, make, try, try, I make up in the thing. No, 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 no. no. There is a uh, agree, agree, agree issue. Yeah. So uh, two solicitor, two solicitor agree. Thirty-eight. Yeah, the the biggest one you want to try is called something malfeasance in public office. So that's where they use or don't use, by the way, their powers uh, outside of their authority whilst on duty at the aim of hurting or benefiting somebody else. They can get 14 years in prison for that if they abuse their powers. It's called malfeasance in public office. Okay. Um, so talk to your sister. And yeah, there's, a, there's a new, a new uh, organisation they formed in like 2017, mm. right? The... the, the a big uh, tribunal, a police authority. Tribunal. Okay. It's a new one. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm, I'm going to bring all of them uh, the, to the, the bed. At this moment, I'm in this predicament that where, 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 is, where can I go back to home? Uh, a, yeah. Of course, yeah, of course, you just want to go home, but. Uh, it's a nightmare. Yeah. And they, uh, uh, five, they, they give me five until five o'clock. The, 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 the station closed. I, I, I can be back here. So I will. Be yeah, here yeah, wait there. 100%. Definitely. Uh, I wish you luck with it, my friend. Thank you so much. And, uh, Thank you. I, I hope you, you th this, this will be going on YouTube, so thousands of people will hear your story now, and hopefully somebody might reach out. <laughs> if you have access to the internet, my YouTube channel is Power to the Proletariat. Uh, you'll, you'll find the video on there in the next few days. Yeah, write it down. Power. Do that. Hang on, two seconds. Mm -hmm. Proletariat, P, P R O L E T A R I A T. There we go. Yeah, like yeah. That. yeah, that's it. Yeah, and then you'll find me there. The video will probably go up over the weekend. Um, but yeah, like I said, you'll. So solicitors who can help me please contact me yeah so leave, leave a comment on the video well, like, when it goes up um, it will be titled probably Braintree Police Station so yeah leave a comment in the video tell say in I'm the guy that you spoke to in the lobby I'm at the Braintree, sta Braintree yeah. Police Station please. yeah and, uh, solicitor help me yeah and I'll, 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 I'll see what solicitors I can find at a local team that might be able to help alright buddy no worries good luck with everything there we go guys um so, first-hand account of how Braintree police treat the public, um, abuse their powers, um, arrest people, handcuff them without due um, diligence. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, that was a horrible story to hear, really. I feel really sorry for the guy. I, you know, I wish there was something I could do to, to help him. Um, but... Unfortunately, you know, sounds like there was some sort of domestic between him and his uh, partner. Um, and the, the police got called, and you know, uh, as he said, it's a civil matter. The police shouldn't really get involved unless, you know, there's evidence of violence. I think um, generally for a domestic dispute, it's it's not for them to get involved with. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite horrible to hear. I feel I do feel genuinely sorry for that man. You know, I could see at the end, um, you know, his, his eyes were welling up. He was quite emotional the way he was twisting and turning that folder of his documents. You know, his whole body language was very frustrated and angsty. And, um, yeah, not pleasant. But, yeah, like I said, um, you know, you, you guys are obviously going to watch this. And I've given it my channel, so he'll he'll reach out and... I'll try and find a solicitor nearby that maybe I'll help him on the, at least on the action against the police sides, you know, uh, no wind, no fee sort of, and sort of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the only person that said anything about me filming was the... Uh, 
woman here at the front desk. Obviously, I just ignored because it's policy. But, uh, yeah, we're back at the back gate again. Uh, So we've got a busybody there at the door having a gander. Uh -huh. So yeah, if I do get anybody come and talk to me, I'm going to ask them uh, what they know about the man sat in the front of the station and why they won't review his documents to say that he's allowed to go back to his home, that, you know, he's entitled to be there. But, yeah, I'm going to say enough people have been outside upstairs that have seen me in the stairwell and uh, they've obviously told people as they've got up there and they're aware of the memo, so they're not going to bother doing anything, saying anything. Um, so to be honest guys, I'm going to move on. Uh, as always, like, share and subscribe. Um, stay safe out there. Remember your rights. Uh, as always, power to the proletariat. Till the next one, tear up. So guys, I took a wrong direction. Uh, as I walk back up, I've got a marked vehicle. Which way is he turning? Let's... Uh. <laughs> Give me a nice little grin. Lovely. Oh dear, I think that might have to be the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, so, gonna wrap that up again now. Bye bye.